How's it going everyone? David from DOD Media. Very short tutorial today, but basically I want to show you something in After Effects. A little trick, very simple, but it makes your life a million times easier when you're working with pre-comps. Let's jump in. So I've got the project open from my previous tutorial in Mocha AECC, where I showed you how you could track a logo to the side of a building. If you haven't watched that, check it out up there. It's a great tutorial if you want an introduction on how planar trackers work and especially how you can use Mocha AECC, which is free with After Effects. So basically in that tutorial, what I did was I tracked that planar surface of that wall, then I created a solid and using that tracking data, I used corner pin from Mocha AECC to essentially track the movement of that surface to the shape of the solid by deforming it using the corner pin. Then I used that solid to create a pre-comp where I dumped my logo. And because it's corner pin, uh, all of the shape is deformed, so I had to deform the shape of the logo so that it would look the right shape when it was brought back up to scale here. Now, the tricky thing is that I wanted the logo centered. And so to do that, I had to come over to this comp here. I had to select my logo and I had to move it. And then I'd go back and I would see that it had moved, which it works okay, but, but it's not the most um, efficient way of doing that. And I'm gonna show you a trick which will make your life a million times easier. And in fact, After Effects is showing us both of these compositions right here because they're both open in our timeline. And so you can switch between them. Now, wouldn't it be great if there was a way that I could show this logo, show myself moving this logo and see the effect in real time in the master composition? Well, there is. If you open up your master composition or whatever one you want to see as a reference, and hit that little lock up there. Then you can click back on the other composition and it'll open them both up in two windows. And now you can see here in our timeline that we are in this composition in the pre-comp with the logo. I can select my logo and move it around and you can see that that is updating in real time. Now, obviously, if you have a ton of effects happening and that it's generating things like particles and all of that, and you're moving that stuff around, it might not be quite as responsive, but it's still gonna give you a roughly real-time interpretation of where that is ending up in your master scene, which is pretty awesome. So I can move this around. I could increase the scale of it if I wanted to and just make it you know, much bigger or much smaller and all of that is just updating in real time so that I can see it as it's happening. And so I'm a lot more precise with where I'm actually moving this with the adjustments that I'm making instead of having to go back and forth and back and forth. And then when you're done, just come up here and close the panel and just unlock that. And now you can switch back between them. Lovely. Now I first came across this in Photoshop. You can do the same thing in Photoshop when you're using smart objects. You can have one window open for that smart object and one window open for the actual um, document that that smart object is um, in. Don't know what the Photoshop terms are really. I'll just use After Effects terms for Photoshop. Well, oh, what's up? But because it was an option in Photoshop, it got me thinking, I wonder if that can be done in After Effects as well, because that'd be pretty handy. I work with pre-comps all the time. Any After Effects artist uses pre-comps and pre-comps in pre-comps all the time. So turn to Google and yeah, turns out, turns out you can. So there you go. I wanted to share that tip with you because I feel like that is a, a very simple trick that not many people know necessarily, especially if you're starting out in After Effects and you don't know the user interface like back of your hand, then this simple trick will just help you save a lot of time and be precise with your adjustments. Yeah. Okay. I told you it was a short one and uh, I, I wasn't lying. I think this is probably like four minutes or something. That's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to get more videos from me at DoD Media. I make short tutorials like this. I make much longer tutorials like this, like for example, how to build a spaceship in After Effects. That's a, that's a pretty fun one. Go and check it out if you want to. It's up there, like up in the corner there. Go on, go for it. All right, let me know in the comments below if you have any requests for future tutorials or questions about this specific tutorial and what you saw. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Cheers.